What's up guys? Ashley here with Handmade Haven here to show you how I created this DIY leather woven bench. So the first step for my leather bench is um, making the base. So as you can see I'm just attaching these two by twos um, to start the base off. Um, to make the pocket holes I use my handy dandy Craig jig of course, one of my favorite tools, and I'm using my new rigid drill to drill the holes as you can see. Um, this is the new Octane um, model, um, and it's really strong um, compared to some of my other drills. I really like the feel of it, so I'm enjoying using it on this project. To attach the 2 by 2s together, I'm using my Craig right angle clamp and also my rigid impact driver, which actually came um, together with the drill. It's a drill and impact driver kit. Um, so I use the drill to do the pocket holes and then um, the impact driver to screw in the nails. Um, I really like this impact driver because it has a screw setting. So I just put that on um, and then started screwing in the pocket hole screws. Um, the right angle clamp really is helpful for this um, because it's, it's kind of like a second hand. You just put the right angle clamp in one of the pocket holes and it kind of holds it into place so that you can screw the pocket hole screws right in there. So it's a pretty simple base for this leather bench. Um, I'm basically just making two sides that are identical to each other and then I'll be attaching them together. So now that I got both of my sides assembled, I'm just taking four two by twos um, and attaching them together the same way I made the base sides um, with the pocket hole screws. And again, using my right angle clamp um, just to kind of hold it into place. Um, just to make it easier to put together. If you notice, when I start attaching the two sides together, I'm making sure that the 2x2 two two, um, in the middle has the pocket holes facing up. And then you'll see later that um, on the bottom I have the pocket holes facing down. That's so um, the top of the bench, the bench top will cover the pocket holes on the top and then the bottom will be facing the floor so you'll have a cleaner look. And then um, I have the pocket holes on the two frames facing backwards. So when the bench is facing forwards, you won't be able to see those pocket holes. Now you can fill in the pocket holes if you want. It's up to you. Some people don't like to. I don't always because sometimes I get lazy. But if you're not someone who likes to fill your pocket holes, then this is how you can kind of hide them so you won't be able to see them. And here you can just see me putting in the last 2x2 two two stretcher to make our base complete. Um, this was really a really simple base. Um, if you're new to woodworking, this is probably something that you definitely could try. Um, so yeah, now the base is complete and we can get on to the fun parts. So to start my leather top, I took my roll of polyfill and I took this wooden board, laid it on top, and then I kind of cut the polyfill in the shape of my wooden board. Now I didn't cut it directly underneath the wooden board, there was maybe like half of an inch outside of the board just to make sure that I had good coverage. And here I'm just using some really good craft scissors. Um, I don't know if there's a better way to cut this foam, but I kind of took the easy route. Um, and it worked for me, so. Once I got the polyfill all cut out, I took some 3M spray adhesive. This is really good stuff. Um, and just kind of sprayed it all across the foam um, to be able to attach it to the wooden piece. You may need to pick up the foam just to spray it really well. Once I laid the wooden piece on the foam, I kind of just pressed it down. And if there were areas, areas that weren't sticking, I just kind of you know lifted it up from the wood and just kind of sprayed underneath. Once the foam was attached, I just took a black sheet of fabric. Um, this was like the cheapest thing I could find at Hobby Lobby. Um, it was like $5, I think, maybe a yard. Um, and I just used this to kind of cover um, the cushion and the wooden piece. Um, just because there may be areas that the leather you may see through if you don't, um, you know, woven it, I guess is the word as good as you should. Um, this will just make sure that if there's any spaces, the bench will look pretty good underneath. 
So here I'm just using my staple gun to staple it. Um, it doesn't have to be really neat, um, as you can see. Um, this probably could have been done a little better, um, but it still worked. And you know, me, I'm not an upholstery woman, so I did the best I could. Once my bench top was all covered, it was time to break out the leather, which this is kind of the tedious part, but also the fun part. So I'm basically just making lines here for strips so that I can cut out leather strips. Um, I just used a two by two, really simple, just made lines and then just took my craft scissors and went down the line. Um, this part is important because you wanna make sure that your strips are as straight as possible. Not all of my strips were straight and it still came out great, but the straighter that you can get, obviously, the better your bench is going to look in the end. So as you can see, really simple, just kind of tedious, marking the lines and then cutting them out afterwards. So once my leather straps were all cut out, I kind of just took a little square to make little corner pieces. Um, I wanted to cover the corners because when you do the woven kind of technique, it doesn't really cover the corners. So I'm just taking little pieces here to cover the corners just to make sure that when my bench is done, there's no, you know, black area spots. Everything is good and covered. Now I was super anxious to get this woven love with bench started because this is really a fun project. So the first step to start the woven process is basically taking your longer pieces and you're gonna um, flip your bench on the back and then you're gonna start stapling the leather straps one by one. Now you don't want these to overlap each other but you want them to be as close as possible to make the woven look look as good as mine did. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here, I'm just placing them side by side and just putting staples in them and I'm doing this all the way across. So this is where you're going to start. Once you've got the one side done, you're going to do the same exact thing except on the right side of the bench or left side, whatever. You just want to make sure you have two sides that are already stapled down on your bench. Now I did notice that sometimes when you put the leather strap down and you staple it, the staple kind of wants to pull it to the left. Um, so on some of these, I just kind of overlapped it just a little tiny bit so that when it pulls, it was really close to each other. Now that I've done um, two sides of the bench, I'm basically just flipping it over and I'm kind of just straightening out the straps so I can start the woven process, which definitely is my favorite part of this project. So this is a really easy step. You're just basically gonna take um, each um, leather strap one by one and just go over and under, over and under, um, just switching back and forth from pattern to pattern. Um, as you can see, really easy. Um, when I'm looking at this leather bench finish, it looks like it would be something hard, but it wasn't, and it was kind of fun to do. Um, just make sure that um, you're going over and under on the right leather straps. Um, as you can see, I kind of missed one there. Um, but if you miss one, you can just go back and, and woven it again. No biggie. Also, as you're kind of going over and under, you kind of want to pull the straps down. Um, sometimes they kind of want to rise up on you, but if you kind of pull them down as you go, kind of straighten them out, it makes it a lot easier when you're flipping it over and um, stapling everything down. Seriously guys, this was a super fun um, process and I was thinking of other things that I can make with this <laughs> woven technique and I'm pretty sure there'll be a project soon um, with some the same technique. Um, but yeah, just kind of doing this all the way down. Um, doesn't take long at all. Um, it probably took me about 10 to 15 minutes probably. Um, so it's really quick process, um, really fun and I'm loving the way it's coming out. 
As I got to the end, I was noticing that um, the leather straps were kind of like swaying to the left. Um, so what I did was basically just kind of pull the leather straps on both ends um, and kind of pull them together a little bit just to make room. You might have to do this to kind of um, shape it a little bit. Um, but once you do that, you can kind of get all the straps into place. Really, you just got to kind of finagle it a little bit to get it to do what you want. And um, it's pretty simple. It moves really easy. This leather that I got um, is really thin, so it's not really thick material. So it's definitely easy to maneuver. Once the lever was all woven, I took the bench and quickly kind of flipped it over and then just kind of, you know, uh, laid out the straps. Um, when you flip it over, there may be some pieces that kind of want to fall out on the end, but this is okay. Just make sure that it's um, woven through the right straps and you're good to go. Now, once it's flipped over, you're going to take the straps that aren't attached and you're kind of just going to tug on it just a little bit and then start attaching them the same way that you attach the other sides. Um, and when you turn it over, it'll all be kind of whooping together. Um, try not to tug too hard because you don't want it to look too tight, um, but that's kind of up to you. If you want it to have a little loose look, you know, don't tug as hard. If you want it really tight, then tug on those straps hard. Um, but you can kind of, you know, decide what kind of look that you want. Um, but here on the side, I'm just kind of giving each strap a little tug and then using my Ryobi crown stapler, which is awesome to staple it down. I am using um, three quarter inch um, staples um, just because that wooden piece was um, three fourths. So um, that worked well for me. Um, that's probably all you really need. And I'm just doing this all down the side. Once I stapled everything down, I just kind of cut those leather straps to, you know, clean it up a little bit. And if you want, you can kind of add a leather piece to the top of that to make it clean. But when I turn it around, it looks awesome. Here I'm just kind of straightening out the pieces to make sure that it's all good. And there we have it, my DIY leather bench. I just attached the bench to the top using some wood screws and I am loving the way this turned out. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And for more projects and tutorials, check out handmade-haven.com. All right guys, later.